द वलनरेबल स्पीशीज Today many species of animals and plants face the risk of extinction because of their changing environment and threat from humans. In this lesson we shall learn about some endangered species. Vulture, a bird of prey, is considered as an endangered species. Of the 15 species, the red-headed vulture has been listed as critically endangered in 2007. IUCN red list Vulture helps in keeping the environment clean as it feeds on the dead bodies of animals The widespread use of diclofenac in veterinary medicine in India has caused the steep decline in the population of vultures Sarus crane the tallest flying bird of India can be seen in marshy and wetlands It mainly feeds on grains, insects, small reptiles and molluscs. Like other cranes, they live in pairs. The Sarus crane is classified as vulnerable on the IUCN red list. The main reasons for their decreased population are habitat destruction, hunting and environmental pollution. Sparrow population has also fallen drastically especially in the urban settlements Sparrows are called farmer's friend because they eat small insects and grains Threats to habitat and reduced food availability are the main reasons for their lesser number The great Indian bustard is a critically endangered species decline in grasslands and hunting are the plausible reasons for their endangered status whale shark is classified as a marine fish it is often hunted by commercial fisheries because of the special oil extracted from its liver the oil is used to make some medicines the siberian white cranes migrate to india during the winter season In the last few years their population have decreased due to environmental changes and hunting Many species of frogs like the munnar bush frog ghats wart frog white spotted bush frog etc are also getting endangered slowly Mangroves found in marshy areas can withstand high salinity and even scarcity of oxygen However, mangroves presently are facing serious threat. As such, the different animals and birds that thrive in these areas also face a risk. Many marine organisms like crabs, jellyfish, shrimps, lobsters, molluscs, etc., are found in abundance in the mangroves. The marshy land of mangroves has also a potential of producing 8 tons of humus per year per hectare the wood of mangroves is used as fuel and in making furniture tannin is also extracted from the bark of the trees roots of mangroves help in preventing soil erosion many bacterial and fungal colonies develop on the dried leaves of mangroves these leaves in turn are eaten by protista thus mangroves have an important socio-economic purpose global reduction of mangroves thus can have serious consequences <laughs>